Hello everyone. A Dance with Dragons. Is anyone else reading A Song of Ice and Fire? Um, I'm almost done this one and I'm looking forward to the Winds of Winter when that will come out. But um, Vaxart. Um, I was scrolling down my watch list and I saw it's at $1.28 and I was like hold up wasn't this just in the 60 cent range like a couple weeks ago and lo and behold it was um like three weeks ago it was at like 67 cents so hopefully Inovio follows Vaxart because ever since 2020 those two companies follow each other because I have stock in um Inovio but the earnings came out with Vaxart on May 4th and I guess that's what is making the stock rise so dramatically. So Vaxart ended the first quarter of 2023 with cash, cash equivalents, restricted cash and marketable securities of $71.8 million compared to $95.7 million as of December 31st, 2022. The decrease was prim primarily due to cash used in operations. Vaxart reported a net loss of $25.1 million for the first quarter of 2023 compared to $25.1 million for the first quarter of 2022. Net loss per share for the first quarter of 2023 was $0.19 cents per share compared to a net loss of $0.20 cents per share in the first quarter of 2022. Revenue for the first quarter of 2023 was 675000 compared to 85000 in the first quarter of 2022. The increase was due to revenue recognition for services rendered in relation to Vaxart's grant from the Gates Foundation and higher royalty revenue from sales of Innervir in Japan. Research and development expenses were $19.6 million for the first quarter of 2023 compared to 18.2 million for the first quarter of 2022. The increase was mainly due to increases in headcount and related costs and clinical trial expenses related to the company's norovirus vaccine candidate. And the business update on the norovirus vaccine is in April of 2023 Vaxart presented previously published research from its norovirus oral vaccine program at the World Vaccine Congress in Washington DC Dr. James F. Cummings Vaxart's chief medical officer exhibited findings demonstrating potent serum and mucosal immune responses to norovirus with Vaxart's oral bi bivalent wait bivalent I think <laughs> norovirus vaccine candidate. In March of 2023, Vaxart provided a detailed overview and reviewed data from its norovirus oral pill vaccine program during presentations at its sponsored norovirus key opinion leader event. Featured experts on the disease explained the current disease burden posed by norovirus, as well as its significant economic and societal costs and impact the U.S. on an annual basis. Um, February of 2023, Vaxart initiated a phase two dose ranging study of its bivalent norovirus oral vaccine candidate and expects to report top line data from this study in mid 2023. So Vaxart investors have this to look forward to and looks like it's all good. Um, tell me what you think. Are you uh, interested in Vaxart? Are you not? Let me know. And have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.